the Japanese ambassador for a plot. Name the film! It's the first November! Just to prove the last bit of my pumpkin Paralyme pack, I'm gonna make my latte. And this is the last bit before I go on to my gingerbread. I am gonna order that ready. It's November and as far as I'm classified, it is time for gingerbread. Christmas time! Halloween is over. Well, that's going in the background. I will say though, this is first thing in the morning, so I might look a little bit different when I'm videoing the little one. Um, I know this is noisy, I hope you can uh, hear me. Just want to say, I have taken loads of photos over the Halloween, this Halloween week, shall we say. I've been busy since Monday, tried to vlog it, still not me, I can't get in the groove of vlogging. I will try, carry on trying, but I only got bits and pieces and I got a lot of photos. It's because I'm out with friends and the kids and I just don't want to force them into vlogging or them to feel awkward because I'm vlogging. I can do that in my own time as well. But I still want to be able to have a laugh and enjoy time with my friends and my friends' kids with my child and I've got loads of photos if you want to go over to my Instagram I'll link it here and I hope you'll become a part of my family and subscribe become a pretty petal as well as following me on my Instagram so let's get in to the video Mwah. dare I put a Christmas scene in the background it's making a crackling sound of the fire and the wind and the snow and then now and then again the little bells I'll link it down below maybe you'll want to have it in the background for yourself it's a beautiful scene I'm just gonna leave it there I think it adds to my video I'm sporting a puma top today hope it's not to distracting, it's no advertisement or anything, it's just what I'm wearing. So, first of all, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing on my lips. This is a favourite of mine this month. This is Maybelline New York Superstay. It is Amazonian 70. And these are brilliant. You just put them on and it dries, but it's still kind of got that tacky feeling to it, I'd say. And it lasts all day long. You can get them in all different colours. They're brilliant. Now a bit expensive, but you can get them on deals sometimes. So do look out for them. Maybelline Superstay. Also, I am wearing my BB Cream Summer Glow Face Cream. This is a special from Aldi, and I am loving it. It just gives me a natural glow, and it's a easy everyday wear. I will continue to wear BB cream afterwards I, if I'm honest I've always worn the foundation didn't really know the difference what else what is CC cream what is BB cream so and so forth I need to venture into different things maybe and try different things but BB cream is basically a moisturizer with 
hint of glow in there so it says it even skin tone blurs lines and imperfection boosts have healthy bronze summer glow up to 24 hours hydration uva uvb protection spf 15 oh it's like the little reindeers in the background with catherine i feel like i've read this to you before did i do this on my last month Maybe I'll put it in one of my videos, but I am loving it. What then on the makeup video? I think that's that blow if I remember. Another special from my, I'm just leaning back because I've got a pile behind me. You can see my remote in the background there. Right. These are another special from Aldi slippers. I saw Miss Hinch got these too. They are well loved already. And I am going to put them on. Right. Also, I've made my Spotify playlist. It is. Oh. October Petals October Faves I can never say <laughs> what month it is or what I'm doing it's the 1st of November this is Petals October Faves right I have my pad here and I have bought this set from the range so it comes with this beautiful mermaid pad it's lined and then it comes with some little gel pens and also this pencil case it has all my sharpies in it but <laughs> it obviously didn't come with it and It's a pretty large pencil case. I believe that was about a fiver from the range, but I've written my notes in here. And that is a favourite of mine. I'll link it all down below. I keep saying everything's a favourite of mine. This is a favourite video, in case you didn't know. <laughs> You've clicked on it, so you must know. Right, so I'm opening my notes bbc i player i have been watching rupaul's drag race i can't believe this has come to the uk finally after so many years i've been watching it and it has also come on netflix so you can watch all the american ones and now a uk one on BBC player or I believe it's on on a Thursday but I'm not sure I, if I'm honest I don't really watch normal telly I just watch telly on repeat so I watch Netflix and I watch BBC player 4OD ITV player so and so forth um, but that is what I've been catching up on the most this month on Netflix I have a list for you and I'm currently dropping it but um insatiable oh my god loved it um i watched the first season if you haven't go catch up and the second season is there for you i binged it and i recommend you binge it too it is brilliant she um so the main character Debbie Ryan um, she basically has a uh, I don't want to tell you too much don't want to give you spoilers but she has dieting struggles um, it's very thrilling funny shocking and gripping they 
always give you a cliffhanger and you always want to go back for more let's just say that i absolutely loved it and debbie ryan is from something that's close to my heart sweet life of zach and cody which i'm gonna go on to mention riverdale i have been watching riverdale and obviously jughead is cole sprouse and all these are close to my heart because these actors were on the tv as i was growing up and i'm sure my sister will say the same and jughead Carl Sprouse, as I said, I'm losing track here. Got to get in the groove. Right. Dismissed is a new film I have put on my list on Netflix and I will be watching it. I haven't watched it, but I've done a bit of Googling <laughs> for this video um, to find out the actors and things that I've just told you um, so Dylan Sprouse I wanted to see what he was up to because obviously Jughead is Cole Sprouse I will get mixed up because they are twins I'm sure anyone would get mixed up um, but I wanted to know which one was which and who was doing what um, I'm sure I knew but I just wanted to classify that um, so Dismiss Dylan Sprouse is a film I will be watching and Jughead in Riverdale. If you haven't watched Riverdale, where have you been? You need to watch Riverdale. Riverdale's amazing. I believe there's a new episode every week. I need to catch up. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> I'm always um, talking to my sister about that as well. We do love the same things and also living with yourself. That is a bit strange. I watched this with my husband and um, again, I don't know how to tell you about these things because I don't want to tell you too much. It's just a bit strange. <laughs> um, it has a bit of a same same life and he goes into a massage parlour to get a massage that will change his life let's just leave you with that <laughs> so and then something unexpected happens really strange but it's worth a watch so that um 60 days in 60 days in did i mention that last month i don't even know but i finished it this month i believe and excellent civilians undercover in america everything's in america more um extravagant in america shall we say i'm from the uk if you ever end up watching me Oh, I'm so grateful for anyone that watches me. But anyway, uh, civilians undercover to expose crime in the county jail. And these people range from people from the army. There's a mother. There's even Muhammad Ali's daughter. Um, a policewoman. There's so many different people. Um, but they go undercover, obviously, said that, um, <laughs> to find out what happens in the prison and it's just brilliant. Really enjoyed it and these people, I feel, really become prisoners and found out what it was like to be in that environment and Spotify I've already mentioned I have Selena Gomez, Katy Perry, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, a bit of Mabel and more there is 20 songs on this playlist for you I hope you like the same music as me and go check it out see if you do Petals October Faves 
that? Let's get into some more stuff. Is that going to get distracting? Maybe I'll chuck that over that side. My Dr. Martens. Look at these beautiful boots. I don't know how else to give them a grand entrance. Can you see? They're like petrol. So I hope this shows up on camera. If I wave them around gently, they have a rainbow effect, but they are black. And in the stitching, it's rainbow, and you also get rainbow laces with them. There are Dr. Martin's air walk on there. And inside they've got the little label Doc Martins. And they are just beautiful. I got these from Shoe. They were £120. I know that's a rather large amount, a big purchase. I don't usually spend that much on anything. But I wanted to treat myself. November is my birthday month. And... I have had Dr. Martin's, my other ones, uh, I threw away because they were just ruined. I'd had them for years. They wasn't broken or anything. They are just worn, very worn. And um, like I say, I'd had them for years. I just wanted to upgrade, so I did. And these are my favourite. I've had the blisters already and hopefully I won't get them anymore. I will be sporting these with a lot of autumn winter outfits and I may even wear them into the summer with dresses. But they last for years and they're an investment and they're for the future. So if you're looking for a pair of boots that will last years an investment like i say dr martin's i do definitely recommend i also love my timberlands they're not on my favorites this year but because i've had them for years maybe i'll put them on next month if i carry on wearing them but um this month i'm sporting for my doc martins but i have been wearing this fragrance which is lady million empire packer of van and it's basically a travel one it's a beautiful little bottle and it sprays I'm gonna spritz myself and it just I'm trying it's quite empowering it's called Empire it's, and I just said empowering <laughs> um a bit musky but very feminine and pretty that's what I like about Lady Million it's very sexy it's a good scent love it I've been wearing that this month and I'm sure I'll carry on wearing it and I also bought some more from the range I've got mermaid brushes, which I'll show you. I'll just show you the packet. And also unicorn brushes. And these are from the range. Did I say that? <laughs> I keep repeating myself. Right, um, I'll link these down below. They are beautiful. I've got these to do my DIYs. I've got a lot of ideas lately and I've got no paintbrushes left if I'm honest these 
the only ones that I have. So, just wanted some different ones, some new ones. They're so soft. They're all different shapes. So I can do more detail. They're thin ones. I've got little protectors on them. And then do more effects, mixed media. I love painting and I want to get back into it so I've bought some paintbrushes. I could not resist, they're so pretty. Who doesn't want pretty brushes? I said that last month and I feel like I've jinxed myself because I bought um, pan shop brushes, uh, makeup brushes and they were in my last month's video, I'm pretty sure of it. And now I've ended up buying paintbrushes. I wonder if you could do your makeup with these. Because these are probably a lot cheaper. They're still expensive. This cost me more than say £21. <laughs> Oops. On brushes. But... I've got two sets here, that was so common, <laughs> so I've got seven, Ooh. I have got seven, I've got seven of the mermaid brushes and then I've got four of the unicorn brushes, just want to do this because they're unicorn brushes, but anyway, um, so I do think this is cheaper to buy these because they look pretty and if you buy makeup brushes that look like this they are so expensive so I wonder if you could do your makeup with these but I really don't know I have bought these for painting and I wouldn't want to mix like use these to paint and then continue to put them on my face that's not something I'm going to do so I'm going to use these to paint but I'm just recommending maybe you could use them on your face who knows but yeah <laughs> love those if you want some brushes the range is the place to go love the range also these coated jeans I've got them in the lighter colour I'm into Primark for ages I need to do a Primark call um, but I have no money <laughs> so these are like leather look oh, I've just come out of the wash there's a bit of fluff <laughs> leather look jeans but um, they're actually coated jeans so you can get them in a darker brown and also a black they are £13 from Primark and I have been wearing these so much they look really nice on just this colour is so autumnal autumn vibes right so it has come to the end of the month and it is the 1st of November. We've had Halloween. So this week has been so hectic for me. Last night I was at a Halloween party. Well, I wouldn't even say it's... Um, yeah, it is a party. At my local barber's he throws a party for the kids every year and it's like a walk-in basically you can go in there and it's like a little disco I love it and I'm sure I'll go for many years to come they are just amazing people I think they must be collectors he's um, got a lot of like um, boxing gear in there 
and I know he has a statue of Rocky and I think he must collect things throughout the year for Halloween and he also decorates for Christmas but I think probably Halloween he goes all out it was absolutely brilliant he does a food table and everything's free he gives out sweets I don't know how he affords it it is absolutely decorations everywhere love it I love what he does and I hope I can go for years to come like I say I also went on like a Halloween hunt with Rory at Basildon Festival that's on every year as well so really enjoyed that been pumpkin picking, been to some hill garden centre. I have just feels like I've been busy all week. No, five days of the week. And still got the weekend, Kim. First of November, it's Friday. But anyway, I have enjoyed this month so much. Days indoors, hot drinks, going outside in the rain even with my little boy jumping in muddy puddles he loves that and with his wellies on <laughs> I just love him miss him he's at nursery today if you want to see me with my little boy there's plenty of videos on my channel quite a lot of them feature him and as I mentioned, this month is my birthday month. I go to Centre Parks and Christmas is the coming. I can't wait. This is the best time of the year. And I hope I can do justice on this channel and give you a lot of things to look forward to. I hope you'll subscribe and become a pretty petal and be part of my family please join me for christmas and into the new year i hope to get more viewers and i'm grateful for each and every one of you and i hope to see you again next time thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon that is living with yourself also fractured that was the strangest film i've seen in a long while it was messed up um i don't know why i'm even putting it on my favorites really might put this on the cutouts but i mentioned it because i watched it fractured the month is over I think that brings my favourites to an end how to give the I don't I, can't, I don't know it's just really <laughs> it's excellent it's really good go and take a look at 60 days in that is the last one on my list Okay, so really been doing it, yeah. But nobody probably knows who I am. <laughs> Sad as it sounds. I I don't know, I'm going off in a tangent here. Right, I'm gonna stop now. They're actually still wet. But this is the things we do for YouTube. So, they. <laughs> that sound. But they are. I'm going to say they're another one of my favourites. This is the favourite video, Kim. But. These are £13 from Primark. And I have been sporting them with a lot 
of outfits this season and I'm sure I'll carry on wearing them into the winter months love them 